President Bobo Marcos has signed the law imposing tax on digital service platforms. Will this lead to an increase in prices of subscriptions and products for consumers? Madison Halili with the report. Now watching taxes on digital services. These include Netflix, Disney Plus, and other streaming platforms. President Bongbo Marcos signed a law imposing value-added taxes on digital services. We are not imposing new taxes. We are simply strengthening the authority and streamlining the process of the BIR to collect value-added tax on digital services. Under this piece of legislation, a 12% VAT will be imposed on all digital services platform based abroad but has a market in the Philippines. The law also covers online shopping platforms. If your presence in the Philippines market is as real as your profits, then your tax responsibility should also be equally tangible. But make no mistake, we are not imposing new taxes. We are simply strengthening the authority and streamlining the process of the BIR to collect value-added tax on digital services. Under this law, the government is seen to earn 105 billion pesos in additional revenue in the next five years. But here's the caveat. The platforms may pass on to consumers the added tax. So there's a chance that prices of online products, services, and subscriptions may increase. That's why Val, who loves to shop online, plans to cut down on her expenses. Babawasan lang po siguro ako ng mga ino-order kasi may siguro din po hindi po ako makaka-order ng mas gusto kong mga ibang brand na damit. According to the Bureau of Internal Revenue, it cannot prevent digital service platforms from passing on the cost to consumers, but they expect the impact to be minimal. If uh, they will increase their prices by so much, they will also lose their customers. At the, at the same time. So I'm sure they will not do that. It's not a wise business decision. Online educational services, including courses, webinars, and other digital educational offerings, are exempted from value-added tax. Other digital services sold on a subscription basis to educational institutions recognized by the Department of Education, the Commission on Higher Education, and state universities and colleges are also exempted. The government has 90 days to draft the implementing rules and regulations of the law. For News 5, Maricel Halili, We Are One News.